Hi everybody! How to get a great drum sound is not near the topic of today's video. Because today's topic is a new plugin and this is the Tukan Studios Vocoder Series 2. And this of course comes with the Series 2 bundle, so if you already installed the Series 2 bundle, simply update your plugins. For all who are not familiar with vocoders, this is a kind of effect where you combine a synthesizer and a vocal sound into one. So let's see how this can be done. Let's first turn off that vocoder and use a simple track with the microphone input. And yes, here is the microphone input, we can see that. And now let's record a few words. Tukan Studios Vocoder Demo Project. Okay, that should do. Let's play that back. Tukan Studios Vocoder Demo Project. The next step would be we need a synthesizer. So let's create a track and give it a MIDI input and let's insert the synthesizer. December synth for this and let's choose simply a preset like the model pad and now let's press record here and now we can play that on our keyboard and it can sound like this. Okay, great, we have a synthesizer. And now let's do the trick. We open the mixer where we see this first track with our vocal recordings and the second track with the synthesizer in it. We can read December synth here. And now we create a send from the synthesizer to the vocal track and we send that, and this is important, to the inputs three and four. And of course we give that a level. I can close this now. And the second thing is we want to remove this synthesizer from the master track. So now it's only playing into track one and there in three and four. Now let's see the vocoder effect again. And here we can see in the input and output pin mapping that we have the vocal inputs on one and two and the synthesizer inputs on three and four. And here in the effect, we can see we have a level for vocal, a level for synthesizer and a level for the outputs. So if I close that window here and play back the audio, you will see level for vocal. And we can't hear anything because the synthesizer signal is missing. So if we want to combine the sounds, we have to have both. If I play the synthesizer on my keyboard, we can see we have level in the synthesizer section on input three and four. So now when I press a key or a chord on my keyboard, we see this input. And now when I press play, the vocals will be vocoded. Sounds like this. To studios, vocoder, demo, project. As you could tell, I played a minor chord. So that's basically it. We need a vocal input and a synthesizer input to have them combined. Now we can go over some features. So here in the listen section, we can choose if we want to listen the vocal input, the synthesizer input or the effects. So when I hit vocals, Tukan Studios, we get those vocals back again. When we had synthesizer, I play on my keyboard, we get the synthesizer and on effects, we get the vocoded signal. Tukan Studios. On below that section, we have an input gate, which is indicated with that green line here. And this is simply a gate for the vocals input, so we don't vocode breathing noises or something like that. Next, we have the mode, where we can choose from blur and smooth and detail. So let's hear that. We could choose blur and it could sound like this. <laughs> which is not all too detailed or detail. So that's more clear and um, in the middle there's smooth. So in a way that's how detailed the vocals are represented in the combination of the two. 
With this sound knob, we can change the overall sound of this thing. Let's hear that. Let's choose a synthesizer input and now press play and move that sound mode. Depending on your vocal input and your synthesizer sound and your desired sound, you can turn that knob and experiment there. Then over here we see this status thing, and this is not a control, it's just a visual feedback. So we can see if it's vocoding, or if we hit vocals, it says dry vocal, synthesizer, or vocode in gray if it's not vocoding, and vocode in blue if it's vocoding. And if we bypass, it says FX bypassed. Now we come to an interesting knob, and this is the high mix. And this gives some of the high frequency content from the vocal input back to the vocoded signal. And this makes a huge difference so you can understand the words much better. Let's hear that. So there's a difference in that. But you can also use the vocoder noise for that. So this mixes in a noise to the synthesizer to be modulated there. Let's hear that. And you can choose if this noise is stereo or mono. And now here in the last section, we can choose the style, if it's a 70s style vocoder, 80s or 90s. Let's briefly go through them. So we have 70s. We have 80s. And we have 90s. And the last knob is simply an output trim for the final signal. And now let's see this thing in action. Now, of course, some of the most famous uses of vocoders are by Daft Punk. And I just put together a demo how the vocoder could be used, but I didn't pay too much attention to get exactly the sound of Daft Punk. It's just an example. So what we see here is the backing track I just got from somewhere. And here's the synthesizer track and here's the vocal track. Let's first hear it. <laughs> So now let's see what I did there. I had this synthesizer here and I just used the preset jump pad, but I made this a mono synth and gave it some glide. And now let's see the chain for the vocals track. And here are some little tricks. I first compressed the vocals before vocoding. Work it, make it, do it, makes us. And then I put the vocoder on that. And here now we can switch to synthesizer so we can hear the original synthesizer sound. So let's go back to the effects sound. And here I just played with the dials. So I chose the sound to this value, it shows detail and a bit of high mix and a bit of noise. And I chose the 90s style. So let's hear that again. Let's try the 70s style. So you hear the difference. And then I added another compressor here. And the last thing I did, I gave it some room with the cocky delay and this is just set to 140 milliseconds. And I filtered this a bit and I made it stereo with this ping pong thing here, but it's not 100%. Let's hear only the vocoded signal with the effects on it. And now again in context. And that's it for today. I hope you have fun with the vocoder and all the other plugins and bye bye.